today, don't we? My name is Dean Atkins. I work at KMA Radio, and it's my pleasure and honor to be here once again this year. It seems like it was like 10 minutes ago that we were here, I think right over in this area, and they were moving dirt last year, getting ready for this momentous occasion today. Who was here last year for the breaking of the ground? Yes. And who's new to this event this year? Brand spanking new. All right. well, that is so wonderful to have everyone here today. 66 years after Glenn Miller went on to become the greatest big band leader in the heavens, he is looking down upon this momentous occasion today, and I am sure, I'm positive, he is so proud, so proud of what he is seeing right now. So proud of the fact that even though he didn't live in Clarinda very long, his roots are here. His foundation is here. And there are those that are here today that are ensuring his legacy endures forever through the Glenn Miller Festival and what we are taking in right now, the grand opening ceremony of the Glenn Miller Birthplace Museum. Few people packed as much passion dedication, determination, good old-fashioned hard work into 40 years of life, as did Glenn Miller. And today we witness some of the fruits of that melodious labor through the Glenn Miller Birthplace Society and countless others from all over the world who have seen to it that this day would arrive. Last year the spade broke the earth and today the joyous work begins to keep the music and memory of Glenn Miller very much alive through the Glenn Miller Birthplace Museum right here in beautiful Clarinda, Iowa. At this time, if you can and are able, please stand. As the American Legion, the American Legion Sergi Post 98 Honor Guard will now post the colors. Join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all.
another big round of applause for the Tamana Girls High School Band and that beautiful rendition of our Star Spangled Banner. Thank you so much for that. Now Pastor Potter will come forward for our invocation. Pastor? What a beautiful day that God has given us today. Let's just uh, ask God's blessing on today's ceremony. If you'd bow your heads with me today. Dear Jesus, we want to thank you for this day that you have given us. A beautiful day, Lord. Thank you for keeping the rains away so we could uh, enjoy this celebration today uh, together. Uh, Lord, we just uh, thank you for all of the, the people who made this day happen. Uh, all of the years of, of work and effort that have gone into today. We pray that, they, uh, that you would just bless those people and that you would just bless this day as we celebrate the grand opening today of the museum. Lord, we thank you for this day, and uh, we ask your blessing upon it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Detail, Dan Pepper. Fort Horn. Left, hey. Board, half left, turn. At this point in time, feel free to sit back down, relax, and enjoy the wonderful breeze that we have. I'd like to introduce some of our honored guests that are here today. And please let us know where you are as we honor you this afternoon. How about Steve Miller, the son of Glenn Miller, is here today. Please stand if you would like to. Thank you so much for being here today. How about Blake Sennett, the grandson of Glenn Miller, is here today in Florinda. Good to have you. Dr. Alan Cass, curator of the Glenn Miller Archives from the University of Colorado. Doctor? Right over there. Donna Berry, district representative for Congressman Charles Grassley, is here today. Right there in the second row. Laura Hartman, District Representative for Congressman Steve King, is here today. She hasn't let her balloon go yet, but she's going to, probably. Our own State Representative, Richard Anderson, of course, is here today. Nice to see you. Page County Supervisor, Chairperson, all-around good gal, Elaine Armstrong, is here today. Hi, Elaine. Gee, it's, it's amazing that you're at this event, Elaine. I'm just so surprised. Elaine's at every event, everywhere. She goes to everything. It doesn't matter if it's Clorinda. She's awesome. John Herzberg, Page County Supervisor. John. Right there. Jim Richardson, Page County Supervisor. Jim. Just visited with his brother Steve today, as a matter of fact. Of course, the Honorable Mayor of Clorinda, Gordon Kokenge, is here today. He'll be speaking in just a little while, sir. <laughs> President of the Glenn Miller Birthplace Society, Japan Branch. President of Cosmo Space Limited of Tokyo. Hideo, he, and I had this practice too. Hidomi Aoki is here today, Mr. Aoki. I'm just going to go from mi for Mr. from now on, if that's all right. <laughs> Mr. Takasaki, the mayor of Tamana, Japan, is here today. Mr. Takasaki, thank you for being here. <laughs> Mr. Fukuoka, the principal of the Tamana Girls High School, is here today as well. So, great to have you along with us. <laughs> Mr. Kita Zado, Tamana Girls High School board representative, is here today as well. Mr. Sakia, retired president of NSK, is here today. Mr. Sakia, good to have you, sir. Mr. Mitsumoto, chief financial officer, North America NSK, is also here with us. Mr. Matsubara, chief executive officer, North America division, NSK, is here with his balloon. Ready to go. 
And Mr. Aoki, Director of Manufacturing North America, NSK, is also here today. So a big round of applause for all of our people that have taken the time to travel from all over the globe to be with us here today. Many, many people over the years have been instrumental in keeping the Glenn Miller Festival alive to get the Glenn Miller Festival going back in the 70s. This would be one of those gentlemen, amongst many, as we welcome, yes, you can stand if you want to, the president of the Glenn Miller Birthplace Society. Let's give a huge welcome, especially on this day, to Marvin Negley. Marvin. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Glen Miller Birthplace Society, I would like to welcome you to this opening ceremony of the Glen Miller Birthplace Museum. It finally happened. We believe this new museum will be a significant attraction to our city, our state, our nation, and for the world. And we invite people from all nations and cultures to visit this museum, which honors the music and memory of a great American patriot, Glenn Miller. The story of Glenn Miller is a wonderful American success story about a boy who was born in a small greenhouse to your left. You can just turn your head, you'll see it. This young boy was born into a family that didn't have much money, but with a strong will and determination, he went on to become a musician, composer, arranger, and eventually band leader of the number one band in the United States. Then in 1942, at the peak of his career, Miller decided to give up his number one band to enlist in the United States Army Air Corps. He spent the next year working with military bands, and then in the spring of 1944, he requested and got permission to take a band to Europe to entertain the men and women in uniform. His band played hundreds of concerts to improve the morale of our soldiers who were fighting far from home. Then on December 15th of 1944, he decided to fly to Paris, France to make preparations for a Christmas Day concert the band was to perform. Miller's flight never reached Paris, and Miller, his pilot, and another military officer have never been found. This flight ended the career of one of the greatest American musical patriots, Major Glenn Miller. Of his, of his music, General Jimmy Doolittle said, his music was the next best thing to a letter from home. If you can imagine fighting on foreign soil in the terrible situation that you're in, how much a letter from home would mean. Well, Glenn's music was the next best thing to that. It is this wonderful story of Glenn Miller that we want to tell within the walls of this museum. The story of a young boy born in Clarinda on March 1, 1904 that within a short life of 40 years won the hearts and minds of people all over the world. We thank all of you who have donated to make this museum possible, to keep this music in memory of this great American hero alive. Thank you all very much. <laughs> 